The next update for Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare is Suburbanation. Uh, we're very, very excited about it. It's a huge DLC pack for us. It's going to have a brand new map called Crash Course. It's basically a desert style suburbia on one side of the map and a golf course on the other side. But to make things interesting, uh, the zombies decided to crash land their Zomboss blimp right in the middle of the map. It's got a nice bridge directly in the middle, which players have to cross, and we actually have the capture point underneath the bridge. And there's sniper points on either side of the bridge and valley that are great for range players to take down. The game mode, Suburbanation, is our take on a classic domination-style game mode, where the plants and zombies are fighting for control of three strategic locations in a map. So once you actually capture all three bases for your team, you put the other team in a sort of state of suburbanation, as we call it. And that's basically, you have the other team in complete lockdown mode, and they have to try to get at least one objective back from you. Otherwise, your team is just going to sit back and just earn lots of coins. Our community is fantastic. They've been super supportive and vocal, and we were thinking of ways to include them in the design process more. So we held a contest to vote on the new Peace Shooter design. We took in hundreds of submissions of concept art and cool characters that people had created. We narrowed that down to a smaller field, uh, voted on those internally, and then presented the top picks uh, onto Facebook for fans to vote. The character that was selected was called the Plasma Peace Shooter. He's sort of got a cosmic flavor to him. His weapon is very similar to the Future Cactus, where he can fire off a bunch of quick, you know, plasma peebers, but he can hold and charge it for, like, the ultimate plasma blast. It's also going to have a bunch of new enhancements to Garden Ops. One of the bosses in Suburbanation DLC is Baron Von Bats. We're very excited about this character. He is basically a Victorian-era vampire, and he can sort of, like, dodge around and warp and disappear and come out of nowhere. He can also summon little zombie minions that fight for him. So you mix all of that together, and we think we've got this really crazy new uh, boss that we think everybody's just going to love playing against. In addition to that, literally somewhere in the world, there is a treasure yeti, and he's got tons of treasure. And every time you shoot him, treasure's going to come flying out of his sack. All the teammates are basically going to be chasing this guy all the way around the map, Meanwhile, their garden is, you know, being attacked by zombies, so they got to kind of balance out how greedy are you going to get chasing this guy versus how much do you want to play the team game and try to protect your garden. One of the big things in the next DLC is going to be customization, and for this, we went crazier than I think we've ever gone before. So the amazing Bling Pack is going to be new to the Suburbanation DLC. It's going to have a whole bunch of blinged out accessories for your characters to wear. I'm talking about gold eye patches, diamond studded pork chops. The, the game is epic, like just ridiculous, ridiculous things.